channel welcome back to the vlog if you're new to the channel welcome if you're new and haven't hit that subscribe button well if you hit that subscribe button when I get to a thousand this is one of the things I'll be giving away an official brand new boosted 365 YouTube channel sticker for your car but you gotta hit that subscribe button so what uh, go ahead I'm waiting right there down there down there. yeah, that, that. All right, guys, so it's been a little bit of a rough, rough week. Um, yeah, that right there, no, that's not, that's not from the gen. That's actually from Lisa's Jeep. When she got into the accident, this actually bent, but it didn't break, and then I guess a couple days ago, it just snapped because it should be at that, uh, about that angle there. It was at this angle. Yeah, so it finally broke and snapped. Um, so I actually had to get up and do that this morning because I noticed it was snapped this morning. And then, yeah, that right there, that's the carbon fiber hood that's been on my car for what? Less than, less than three months. Um, unfortunately, I learned the hard way that you do not push down on carbon fiber um, and basically what happened I was shutting the hood and I pushed down and this just went in ever so slightly and I didn't even notice it for a couple days but then I walked out here and I noticed that this had spidered and I thought somebody had actually scratched my car but they didn't so at some point we are actually going to be repairing carbon fiber for the very first time see how that goes I already bought all the sandpaper and things like that I need I also bought all-purpose epoxy this is from system 3 I obviously had I had to look to see exactly how to do it um, apparently this is one of the best for repairing um, carbon fiber so um, we will be doing this and hopefully I don't mess up the hood because if I mess up the hood then I'm painting the hood um, so yeah and then what else um, yeah, those, uh, where'd it go? Ah, right here. <laughs> like I said, these are the official boosted 365 uh, stickers for your car. Um, I got to figure out where I'm going to put this on the gen. Um, I didn't want to put too much color on the gen. gen. I'm liking the black, the silver, the we everything, uh, except for the, the dirt. Um, but we got to figure out where to put it. I'm thinking maybe right here um the only thing is with these cars is i'm not sure how well that's going to be seen because it's way up here and the way this hood slopes so i hood roof actually slopes in the uh, window so we'll figure all that out we're actually going to take a trip out to the shop we haven't been there in a while um and i think you guys should see the shop now because it's in a different location um, the guys have worked hard. Um, eventually, we'll do a video from where they started to where they are now. But today, we're going to actually go out to where they are now so you guys can see that. I'm not sure if all the guys are going to be there or not. I tend to just show up. And every time I show up, I don't have my camera. And they're like, oh, where's the camera? So they want to talk to you guys too. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, we'll talk in a little, once I get there. By the way, I'm not going to tell Lisa or Cam, but I'm going to put one of these on their cars anyway and see if they notice. Um, but they'll leave them up there because, you know, they want to support the channel too. Even though my daughter hasn't subscribed to the channel. I'm going to have to talk to her about that. She might need to be on punishment. Alright guys, so you guys have been to the shop many times before. Um, and, um, you know, it's, you know, it was that two, they had, oh, I think they had two lifts in that, two, one lift in that. But it held probably about eight cars. Well, this is the new shop. And as you can see, it is a lot bigger. It's about 10,000 square feet. Or, um, and it's just, it's just awesome. I did hear some rumors that somebody did some drifting in the shop. So, uh, hello? Anybody home? Hello? 
Don't be alarmed, it's only me. Anybody? <laughs> so as you guys can see with some of the cars, there's um, Donnie's uh, 240 right there. Birdo just showed up, but there's Donnie's 240. Um, we got Spencer's uh, 350Z right here. As you can see, he's all about that, that cambered static low life. I mean, damn. I'm not gonna lie, I did, I think at one point, admit that I wanted the 350Z, but that was before the gen came out. Um, we got Richard's, you've seen this, purple 240. Uh, can't tell you what's in that right now because he has to swap motors. Donnie's other car, the Evo. Birdo, yeah, he needs to show up here. And I don't know, nobody answered. I can steal a whole bunch of stuff. Bunch of motors. Uh, you know, so, you know, they're doing their thing. As you guys can see, too, they've just got plenty of different cars here that they work on. And this is the one thing that, you know, I love about these guys is because they always work hard. They've worked hard ever since the one car shop in Wallingford, which you guys never saw, um, then to the shop out in Northford, which was which was two cars, and then the shop out in Milford, which you saw how many was there, and now this shop here, which again, 10,000 square feet of, of fun. Let's put it that way. As soon as they come in, we'll, uh, or wherever they are, we'll talk to them. Huh? He was hiding under here the whole time and didn't say one word. We don't like Donnie right now. Hey, Donnie. Are you uh, going wide body or something? Huh? Why are you gonna have to? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you know, these these are a little wide. This is just a little bit. One thing I am trying to get them to do actually is uh, build a drift car, um, but not your typical drift car. I'm talking, it's a. It, well, you heard that right? Anyway, it's a it's a Jag. Not only is it a Jag, it's a five-speed. Um, I think it would be awesome. I think this is supercharged. I think I don't know. I don't know that much about Jags, but definitely definitely needs to be a drift car. And like I said, they work on everything. Even those even, even those over there, right there, right there. Oh wait, no, I, I work on that. That's look, look how lovely that is. Um, but they do, they work on every single car. You got Birdo's lazy ass? Well, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've got Audis. <sighs> Yo, where'd you steal this Audi from? Yo, can I get these rims? Where y'all caught these rims from? This place is so big that this is all theirs. There's like two offices, that's a, that's a um, <clears throat> conference room. That's also theirs. Um, and then this kitchen plus an office downstairs. Um, oh, do they got any beer? Let's, let's find out. Oh, don't want that. Not mine. Oh, you didn't see it. Got some water. But do you want to see this shot from above? Look at, look at, look at this. This is like literally all their shop, all this. It's crazy, this is all what we aspire. Most of us who you know, want to shop and things like that. And again, they didn't do it like TJ Hunt or anything like that who had a YouTube channel and it just, he was able to finance the shop. They actually worked really hard. Um, they still have regular jobs and things like that. Um, and not to say that this is a side job because um, they're here practically, it's weird, full time working in the shop and I think they're working on trying to get that shop that part over there on the other side which would basically double the size of a shop to a 20,000 square foot shop and again they work on performance cars things like that they work on regular cars um, they're currently working on this dude Z right here who uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with it um, what he, the guys plans are but you know it's coming along again Richard's car, uh, 240 right there. He he's doing something that we're gonna have, we might have to do with the gen, which is 
um, if you take a look, that that motor right there, um, that is an RB26, I think. Uh, he has to swap out the motor every other year for emission purposes and things like that. And we might have to do that with the gen. So it, it's, just, it's just one of those things that has to be done in Connecticut. But I mean, again, this is just like really impressive. And this is, you know, what like I, I aspire to get to at some point, um, if not actually be in this shop especially once I'm done learning how to tune and things like that. Um, I, I, I might become part of this shop and we'll just be doing a ton of stuff as well. So, you know, let me know what you guys think about this. I, I think it's awesome how, what they do. Um, and again, they started off with four. Now there's three. Um, and, um, but it seems to work. It's funny because, you know, Spence is always the one who's like, you know, you got your camera, you got your camera. And he's not here. So we can pick on the Ninja Turtle for a little while. You know, apparently the car said I wanted. I did say that. That's, that's going to be nuts. What'd you say? I want to. Why? No, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you said, I, all right, fine. Don't put that I'm not putting that online. <laughs> For the Evo 200 a month? Damn. Huh? I'm laughing because that, that's yeah, his car. You, you see this big man? That's his car. <laughs> you got another 2 Jay Z? So <laughs> What'd you say? K20. K20A. Where's he going? time to talk to the guys. Donnie obviously as you could see was busy working on a car. Spence didn't come till a little bit later. Richard I think was working and um, you know Berto was kind of helping out Donnie. So I didn't really get a chance to talk to them but at some point in the future we will sit down and talk with all three of them because I think it's an interesting story from where they started from to where they are now. Um, you know every story you know you have your your trials, your tribulations, and things like that, or whatever. Um, but I think it's really interesting and really important um, because you never actually hear that, hear what that journey's like, especially there. So um, we will get back to them um, in a later video or a few videos because I think we're going to be up there a lot now. Um, and then obviously we got to work on the block right there. Um, I've been waiting, not waiting, but trying to find the um, piston ring extend expander tool, which for some reason nobody has, which is a pain in the butt. So um, that's what I really need to get started. We still need to order a few parts here and there, like timing chain, all that other stuff. And you guys, thank you. You guys uh, came to my rescue as far as those parts are concerned and where I could get them. Um, so that's, what, that's where we're at. So hopefully the next video we can actually start that. So, and then obviously we gotta, repair the karma fiber hood. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you're new to the channel, again, hit that subscribe button because I want to give these away. I, I actually want to get more to give away. Give away, not sell, give away. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And then, uh, yeah, that's that. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time, like, share, if you're new, Subscribe, comment, and make no limitation your only limitation. Because guess what? Those guys, no limitation. They're doing big things, and you're going to see it. Peace.